It is challenge time. I'd like to welcome everybody to our video. Today we have a special guest with us. We've got Brad Goss as usual, but our special guest is Chris Young. Quick story, side note here, we met Chris through Twitter of all places, so Twitter works, believe it or not. <laughs> so what we have, want to do today is actually have a little bit of a challenge. Chris came to us with uh, some pretty cool ideas. He's breaking into, I guess you want to call it internet marketing industry. I don't know if that's really an industry, but he's breaking into internet marketing and one of the thought leaders in internet marketing is here to give him some inspiration. I can help him out too. So what is the, what is basically your challenge or what, what's your, uh, your, where's your head at right now, Chris? Well, I'm the guy with a million ideas that never acts on them. I just, you know, oh, I start it and get, you know, 10%, 15% through it. And then uh, just set aside and move on to something else. I start a lot of things, never complete anything. So Chris's backstory is that uh, he's unemployed. Uh, he's now sort of at home trying to make it work as an entrepreneur. He spent a lot of time uh, learning a lot of the things that people have done. He's purchased a few systems and, and he's read quite a few books and, and been on probably countless webinars sort of learning the business. So he knows a lot of the, the theoretical knowledge that, and even some of the technical knowledge that's required to launch a product and to be in business for himself selling uh, info products or downloadables online. But he hasn't actually taken that next step to finishing a product. And, and in fact, you told us today at Starbucks that you started some products but you haven't finished them. Yes, so um, Justin and I, you know, we're all about challenges. We're all about making sure things get done. And the way that we do that is, is twofold. One, we dangle a carrot. And two, we dangle a piece of shit. Uh, and by, dang by dangling the piece of shit, <laughs> Uh, essentially what happens is uh, that creates almost more fear to force you to work than the carrot will ever create. So here's what we've come up with. Chris, uh, in, as a part-time business for years, has been a DJ. Uh, he's very good at it and uh, one of the things we came up with today was an idea for him to create a book on how to choose the right DJ or how not to choose the wrong DJ for your wedding or for your event or whatever it might be. And it's a big decision a lot of people make. It's, they only have one wedding in most people's lives. And, they want to get the DJ right. They don't want some douchebag up there doing a bad job right. or you know saying things that are, that are going to you know piss off their their families or whatever. So um, choosing a DJ is I think an important decision that people make when they're getting married, and it's an easy easy market to target really when you think about it because you can go on Facebook and target all the engaged people, and you can kind of you know there's some ways we can do that. So the carrot Justin and I have dangled is Justin has, has said to Chris, look, if you get your book done by Monday, today's Wednesday. If you get your book yeah, done, let's get the dates. So the yeah. we're going to actually do this by the calendar. So today's May twelfth, yeah. correct? And the due date for his book is Monday, May the sixteenth, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Or we'll we'll double a Monday after this. The Monday, right? yeah, the next Monday, the seventeenth. And just just as uh, just to clear things up as well, this is a book idea that he he already had. He has, he's already started making notes. He's got a lot of mental notes. Yeah. And it's a process he does all the time, right? With people that go and that buy your services, you do this anyway. So right. the, everything's, the everything's in place. And and people watching this, it's probably the same for you. There's something you know. Yeah. So the carrot we've dangled is this. Uh, we've told Chris, look, if you can get this done by Monday, Justin has offered to take care of of the cover art and the graphics for uh, Chris's book. And I've offered to take care of launching the book as a, as a licensing product that he can make some cash on instantly to kind of monetize his time. And the reason we did that is because that's what he complained as, his roadblocks, right? He said, he, first thing he said to us after he told us his ideas was, I'm not very technical, I don't know how to put things into place. So we took away all of those technical roadblocks. And what's the only roadblock left? Me. Right? The only roadblock left. So this is what's going to remove the roadblock. So, so the carrot was that, uh, and the piece of shit that we dangled was, <laughs> tell, tell us what you've agreed to do if you don't get this book done by Monday, Chris. Right, what, what I've agreed to do, which is not going to happen by the way, if I don't get this book done by Monday, I have to record two YouTube uh, video blogs on the toilet. Yes! And Brad is really looking forward to that. <laughs> it was Brad's uh, idea, of course. My idea. It was Brad's My idea. idea. <laughs> It was Brad's idea, um, but it's not going to happen. I'll have this book done by Monday. So most of us are, are driven more by fear than we are by reward. And so if you don't, when you're challenging yourself, if you don't create a negative, um, I, I don't know what to call it. It's not really negative motivation. Negative, negative yes. motivation or a forcing function that's, that, that is negative, sometimes that's, that's what it will take to drive you there. If you don't do that, dangling all the carrots in the world, I can tell you that you'll make a million dollars if you just work the next 48, 48 hours really, really hard. You may not do it with that payoff, but if I say to you, I'm going to take your house away if you don't work for the next 48 hours, you're going to work. 
Yeah, or I'm going to shoot you, or something crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If someone puts a gun in your head, you, yeah, everything changes when you have something, you know, forcing you to do something. So hopefully that will work. We're going to follow up on Monday, whether it's over Skype or whatever, to see how Chris did. And if you're a procrastinator, do you have the guts to do what he's doing right now? Because guess what? It produces results. So check back in to see how Chris does.